Okay, so this is a brief setup guide for installing TA mods and getting it working with tribes. The first thing you need to do is to download the TA mods launcher application. You can do this from the tribes subreddit at www.reddit.com slash r slash tribes. You can then find the release post for the latest version and come to a page much like the one you can see here. You'll want to click on the download link in the post, somewhere like this which should take you to a download page like this one. Once your thing is downloaded, you'll want to save the application to somewhere where you'll be able to access it later. Something like... not in picture roll. Somewhere like here. And then you want to access the application itself. You'll notice that this application has a little shield icon next to it, meaning it always runs as administrator, which is necessary to prevent it from causing game bans. So to install TA mods, you need to run the TA mod launcher. And this might come up because it is not a, an application Windows recognizes. I'm pretty sure that it is a legitimate application, given that I developed it, so I'm going to hit run anyway. And it'll ask me to run as administrator. Okay, now here's the TA mods launcher. You'll notice it says update available, and I've got automatically checked for updates ticked there. Since an update is available, I can hit update, and now it'll begin downloading TA mods. Okay, so TA mods is now effectively installed and ready to go. However, before we start tribes, we might like to take a look at the configuration. So you'll notice that in the folder where you put your TA mod launcher, you will have a folder named config. If you go into the config folder, there's an executable here called TA mods configuration tool. If we run that, we'll get this interface, which lets us set most of the settings that TA mods offers. There are some settings and systems that you can't set via the tool, which require a bit more advanced knowledge of Lua scripting, but for most people this tool should be able to fill your needs. So I might turn on rainbow damage numbers and give us some nice custom text telling what, us what we think of our opponents. And I'll enable add magic chain as well. There are a whole bunch of other settings that you can set here, but I'm not going to bother about them for now. You can experiment with them at your leisure. I'm also going to turn on the potato hud preset. Presets allow you to use custom scripts that other people have written so that you don't have to go and understand the lower scripting yourself. And by default, this will be on none, but I'm going to change it to potato hud which is one that comes with TA mods download, which Shrek has built for the purposes of a custom HUD. So I'm going to say save config, and it'll tell me that successful. Okay, so we're basically ready to now start tribes. I'm going to hit the launch tribes button, and this should open the high res launcher. If you've got the game installed through Steam, that won't work. You'll have to open the launcher manually. However, you'll still be able to use the TA mods launcher to go and actually inject the mods once the game started. Anyway, I'll hit play, and let's get this started. Okay, we've now got the game open. I'm running it in a window just for these testing purposes. And then I'm going to go and log in. Here we are. Now, once you're at this point, you can inject the mods basically whenever you like. I'm going to firstly check my settings and see I've got all this, all the HUD elements turned off, because I'm going to be using a custom HUD. And I'm now going to inject the mods. I'm going to go and hit Inject TA Mods, and it'll tell me Mods Injected. That sometimes takes a couple of seconds to come up. That's, that's not a problem, as long as it comes up with Mods Injected. Okay, and now I'm going to find a server to go on, and there's nobody in Australian servers right now, so I'm going to have to go and join an American server. And we'll 
we'll see if it actually lets me into the cell. There we go. And, oh, it's gone and turned my weapons thing back on, that's, that's happened sometimes, but you'll notice that now I have a custom hub. It looks like the normal hub, and has a custom crosshair and a whole bunch of custom stuff, and if you want the details of this, I'm pretty sure Shrek made a comment under the release post, which gives some of the details of this hub. I'm going to see if I can find an enemy and check out those damage numbers that we tried before. Okay. There we go. We can check this tank very well. The thing that definitely happens. Basically, TA not installed. Okay, so there's one more thing I want to demo, which is installing custom preset. You'll notice here that I've got the game running already and I've already injected my mods, and I'm here on Catabatic using Shrek's HUD preset. Now, I have been working on a bit of a preset myself just to test things, and Say I went and downloaded this preset from the Reddit, and I wanted to install it and use it myself. Then here's what I'd have to do. I can alt-tab out of this, and go back to my mods folder, where I've got this hub that I've downloaded. This might be in your downloads folder or somewhere else. So I've downloaded mcoothub.zip, and now I need to go and put this in my config folder, which is not the folder where the configuration tool is, but rather the folder where your config.lua file is. And also, for most people, it'll be where your tribes.ini is. So it should be under your documents folder. Documents, my games, tribes ascend, tribes game, config, or something to that effect, which I have open here. Uh, yep. So something like the following. And within this folder, if you've run TA mods before, then you should have a folder called presets in here. And here you'll have potato hub and the Shrek presets which come with come with TA mods and what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy my zip file in here and I'm going to hit extract and I don't need that anymore now what I'll notice is here I've actually got a double folder and I don't want this I just want them to be at the one level and now it looks like this it should be a preset.lua within this folder and that's basically it. I've now installed the preset. I can then go into the configuration tool and it should now show up as an option. Hub. Hit this hit save config. And I've now got that hub which I've just installed saved into my config. And if I look in the game, I'll notice that nothing's changed because even though I've injected the mods, I haven't reloaded my config, so it's still using the one I had before I hit save just then. I can change this without exiting the game. I just need to go into the console and type slash rc. And I'll notice that now my HUD has changed slightly. I've now got the health down in the bottom left, I've got the weapons along the bottom, and I've got a speed bar along the left. And that's pretty much it. 